Um, I, 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 we've heard a lot of parents come here and discuss these issues. A lot of parents with a lot of concerns, and we've heard uh, teachers come forward and, and describe their concern. Um, I really take issue with us even addressing this issue. I believe in the spirit of democracy, of allowing uh, the grassroots of organizations to form their own governing bodies and council. Um, we decided not to be present during the last uh, meeting, uh, and it was in support of our parents. And, I, and again, we want to be supportive of our parents. So I really would like for us to really ponder uh, the actions that are being taken here, and for us to, in light of time, and in the interest of our parents, adjourn this meeting at this time. You can adjourn, we have a motion on the floor. So I'm going to, Mr. Chair, can I give you a minute? I'd like to, um, am I being recognized, Mr. Chair? You're being recognized. Okay. Uh, first of all, that meeting was a duty call meeting. You had 14 days to call it, and you made it 48 days, and you did not call it. We called it because there were a lot of issues around the organization. We did not call the meeting to discuss any individual parent or staff member that was not on our agenda. Although, as we know during public comment, people get to, get to speak on whatever it is they want to speak on. So uh, I'm going to go through uh, the information that all of you should receive in your packets because I gave it to Ms. Rabinowitz and asked that it be submitted into your packets. Um, on uh, February 23rd, a special meeting was called of the school board uh, before a regular meeting. It was done purposely and intentionally because on special meetings there's generally no public comment. Although there was a regular meet comment meeting on the same night, there was um, no opportunity for people to speak. So for 46 years, the parent organization existed in the Bridgeport Public School. Yeah, sorry to interrupt me, but I'm going to excuse myself from this meeting again. I stand firm on my decision to support the parents, and I will not, your and I, and I will not uh, allow you to uh, intrude upon their democratic right to organize as they wish. Thank Mr. Chair, you. I think that is uh, an outrageous move that this board chose to dissolve the DPAC, and this board has to resolve that matter by uh, of reinstating that DPAC. We, this board dissolved it. There's no, no way they could have had any meeting uh, to establish a new DPAC until this board established it. I don't know, I don't understand what the issue is. The issue is... Okay, okay, so I'm gonna continue because I've been recognized and there's a motion on the floor. Uh, so, if all of you, I gave you a copy of the actual word for word transcript. That was transcribed. And there are parents here who are expecting you guys to listen, guys. There are parents in this audience who came to our meeting, okay? So, um, if you look at uh, the resolution that was read into the record, are you leaving, Mr. McSpirit? I am. Are you leaving, Mr. Martin? I am. That you are that you are what you brought to this board's attention as an issue and a concern uh, is being rebuffed 